What's going on guys? Chase Daniel here. This is the Chase Daniel Show. Appreciate all my followers. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Love reading your comments today. We are going to dig into Brock Purdy. Man, that was a tough L against the Ravens. The Ravens, in my opinion, proved to everyone they are the top of the top in the NFL. Brock Purdy, uh, look, through four interceptions, uh, three of the four were not his fault. I didn't think the film was as bad as I, as I originally thought. I'm here to break down 10 to 12 plays. I'm excited to get into it. Let's break it down right here, right now. All right, what's going on, guys? Ooh, tough one for our guy, Brock. Look, this is one of the best, if not the best, defenses in all of football. They're led by their front, Kyle Hamilton. 14, two interceptions, Patrick Queen, Roquan Smith, some of the, if not the best, off-ball backers in all of football. And they play a style and brand of football that a lot of teams can't really keep up with. And uh, look, Brock Purdy, four interceptions, tough loss. Uh, but let's just get into it. Let's break it down. Not as bad as I originally thought. Look, they were an empty lot. Russian five here, third down, big throw to George Kittle over the middle and when he has the ball in his hands he's special over 100 yards receiving in this game they get to a three by one bunch formation right and all they're doing is they're running a basic cross route by george kittle uh, brandon Ayuk has this whip route and debo samuel if they were to press he has this like stutter fade all right and so he's working this way all the way so he's looking uh for uh, Debo, if he can get a, a free release. If not, then middle of the field, five-man rush. That's what we always say, what we love um, for his basic routes. And they're running an option route on this backside. Okay, pretty good job all night out of the backfield covering CMC. Um, and they got a little bit of a weird top hat look right here. 21 supposed to be covering Debo. They get a little bit mixed up, but they all get it fixed up. And, you know, when there's five-man rush, what do you like? Middle of the field. So he's running this, like, like insert basic type play right here. Purdy does a good job. Look, Purdy had to deal with a, a tight pocket all night long. But really liked this throw here from Purdy as well. They got the overload front right here. This guy, 92, is having a hell of a year. Uh, 11 and a half, 12 sacks. Roquan Smith. So all they're doing right here, right, is they're just going five on five. They're going to run twists in games. And if I had to pick one weakness in all of the 49ers, it would be their offensive line right now. They're just not playing at a really good level. Uh, Brock had a little bit less time to throw, got affected, got some tipped balls, everything like that. 71, Trent Williams, look, he's the best guy on their line. Is he healthy? I don't know. But really good throw here by Brock against one of the better – if not the best defense in all of football. And Kittle's explosive with the ball in his hands. Second play right here in the breakdown. Empty again. Common theme. Once again, George Kittle, baby. Nice throw. Nice catch. Okay, all they're doing right here, you're going trying to, to catch this guy, Debo is. Another like deep basic cross basic he spins in there a lot and you're just sitting it here okay and then it's simple over here is like hink smoke okay curl route right back to the quarterback you're working this side versus cover three you're working this side versus cover two it's clearly some type of cover two or cover four so i want you to watch debo right here he does a good job pulling this guy right here okay right guard ouch okay just enough for kittle to uh <laughs> oh my gosh get open and another really good play right there but 55 tough down what i say you know 92 right here is playing a really high level uh so they really liked empty early in the game and i just thought that kyle shanahan thought that this offensive line could hold up it didn't really hold up that much really good play call here though okay your single high side you got your two high side and i want you to watch roquan smith come off on Debo, okay, gets a lot of all sorts of room right there. Okay, look at this little sidearm throw, too, by Purdy. This is pretty cool to see. You don't see it a lot. Let me see if I can get the uh, 
You don't see it a lot while 55 is getting pancaked. Right there, pretty sweet. Nice throw, nice catch, first down. Zero, zero. Okay, slot formation right here. Once again, getting in it empty. This is what they wanted to do. And here it is. This of the three or four interceptions, this was his worst. I'm going to run it one more time full speed to show you guys. All right, so all they're running right here is double post. And it's just, it's rough, man. It's so, usually when you're running double post, you have a clear route or a through route and a post route. This through route, you alert only versus man or middle of the field open. It is definitely middle of the field open right here. Okay, so then you're going to read it one to two. The only issue, okay, with this clear route, who's an alert, and this post route, which is the primary, Ayuk, and you got a flat to sort of hold this guy, there's no corner route to hold Kyle Hamilton. It's an interesting thing. It's like almost this whip route and this angle route, and I wonder to myself if Kittle should have had the corner because if Kittle has the corner – this is an easy touchdown to Debo, but there's nothing that holds this backside safety. And you can tell, look, he's looking over here, but when the closest guy is five yards, and look, Purdy's looking that way too to make sure. Okay, he just thinks that Kyle Hamilton's going to stay right there. He throws Debo the ball right here, just blind throw right there. Kyle Hamilton's like, well, I'm just going to go get that. Okay, the throw is poor and i don't think debo's route is poor everyone's like debo drifted look he's doing the exact right thing if you're going to make this throw the throw needs to be now and it needs to be just right on them but that's not the route concept at all so just a bad decision by purdy right here we'll see it from this view okay you can just tell hey he's staying that means he's pushing i'd love to see a corner route look you can watch purdy too watch purdy's eyes he looks at him, and Kyle Hamilton goes that way. And Kyle Hamilton is going to take Kittle if he just has a corner route. And look at all this open space right here. Okay, but he doesn't. So Kyle Hamilton, as soon as uh, Kittle doesn't go, he gets his eyes back on Purdy. Purdy's throwing the ball. Okay, the ball needs to be driven a little bit more, but it's not. Hangs up, leads him too much. Literally just didn't see him at all. Easy interception for Kyle Hamilton right there. So that's interception number one. Weird score, 5-3 right now. One by three slot formation. Okay, motion and out. Empty. That's the big thing that they wanted to, that Kyle Shanahan wanted to, to master in this, this game was empty. Which, hey, it's five on five or four on five. And you better get the ball out quickly. And you wanted to get five out in the route versus a really good defense. That's fine. But you're blitzing five. Okay, this is what happens though when when, when they why they like it. Like the holes down there are plenty. Really good throw right here. Okay, and, and they're just running this levels concept. It's like a seam right there, and then a level, which means like come level at five yards. So seam right there. You have this like other seam. It's like all go right here. So you're working this side versus single high. So cover three. And you're working this side versus two high or or five man pressure. I can't write on this, sorry. Five man pressure. And it's five man pressure. So right decision by Brock. Okay, it's three deep, three under. So here's the underneath defenders. Here's the three. This is the best coverage in all of football to throw against. No one's matching. There's all sorts of holes for people open. Ayuk's coming open. Kittle's coming open. Okay, this basic route and empty really hurt the Ravens uh, on Monday night. But another really good catch by Kittle. Okay, when they're rushing five. And I love the fact that they did this out of base personnel. So they got a 3-4 defense. So they got a safety corner. Kyle Hampton's plan. Hurt his knee, but he played enough uh, snaps to get to get two uh, interceptions. So this is the this was the game plan for the most part on Monday night. And look, this is an issue for the Ravens, right? They exploited the middle of the field. Okay, they held up just enough on most of the snaps. Uh, some of the snaps, though, it was pretty bad. Really good throw and catch, good timing right there by George and Purdy.
five to three. Okay. Pre-snap motion or shift like 90% of the time. Really good back shoulder by Debo right here. This was sweet. You got Debo out of the backfield. CMC, okay. Brandon Ayuk corner. CMC is this like whip route. Kittle on this like post and they're trying to just get one-on-one -on -one with Debo on this little stutter go. So a lot of times it's like this option route where Debo will break out, he'll break in. I love the aggressive play calling. He decides to stutter go and, and Purdy just says, you know what? I hit him last week for a touchdown right there. And I love the fact that this is Purdy knowing he's not gonna throw this to try and get this safety to bite. You get a one-on-one -on -one with a cover two uh, corner. As soon as 21 turns his uh, back, look, uh, Debo's already looking back on the same page. This is beautiful. Really nice throw. Showed some arm strength right here. This is really good quarterback mechanics right here, okay? He's just doing that little pump right there just to make sure this safety sticks, and he does. Resets, good base, good short stride, good ball angle coming out. Nice back shoulder. Everyone thinks it's PI. It's not PI. All right, motion over to three by one bunch under center. Pressure. Oh boy, it's rough. Nice tackle by Purdy. Okay, so this is this is sort of crazy. I don't think I've seen this one before. All they're running right here is weak inside zone. So in my opinion, look, they're. Uh, Okay, here's what they're doing. Weak inside zone. I'm trying to not get fired up. They're bringing double edge pressure right here. So they're bringing 44. They're bringing the corner. It's called saw dog. Six man pressure. Really good rundown pressure. All they're doing is inside zone. Okay, so as soon as this receiver, I think it's Debo right here, sees that this corner is blitzing. Look, look at his head. You can see he's blitzing for sure. He's going to just say, hey, alert, 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 cat, 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 whatever you call it, corner cat. So cat, cat, cat. And Purdy has the option to sit up and throw the ball right there. I mean, this this was just an amazing, amazing play by this corner. Look, Purdy had looked, take, taken a step, and decided, you know what, I'm just going to throw it right there. Throws it right to him. Hell of a play by 21. I would have loved to just, like, sometimes you just say, hey, don't make a bad play worse right here. Just hand the ball off. Like, I don't think that CMC is going to get tackled for a loss right here. But how about that? Double edge pressure. One edge tips it up in the air. The other edge catches it. Just honestly, just bad luck right here by Purdy. I don't mind the decision. I never want to be making tackles when you are playing quarterback. But look, he looks right now. Okay, I'm going to slow-mo it. He looks right away because he sees the cat. And he looks like he's going to go hand it. And then he decides, you know what? I'm just going to throw it. I wish he would have, and I bet... He wishes he would have just handed the ball off. What a crazy play, though. Like, just bad luck at the end of the day. All right, third and five. Only 10-5 right here. Okay. Looking like this double A, double B gap mug, overload, A, B mug, buddy mug is what we call it. Motion over, Kittle, two by two, get a little tail right here. All right, and they're just bringing nickel pressure. And on back-to-back -back plays... We're going to have interceptions. And another just to Kyle Hamilton. Okay, so there's a lot to break down on this. <laughs> so they're pressuring from the field. All right, route concept is just like a little hitch route in a corner and a little option route. Okay, so I think he should have just taken Debo right here. There's two linebackers right here. So CMC has one of these to this nickel pressure who's blitzing right here, who actually makes the interception, okay? So a couple things went on this play. CMC sees this, okay? He's going to block. He's going to cut, which I'm okay with because the balls should come out to Debo. Left guard comes off, okay? High, low, can't do it, all right? So that's the first part. You can't do the high, low. That's definitely a high, low. Um, the person who intercepts this ball is laying on the ground right now. I want you to follow this guy right here. Okay, that's Kyle Hamilton right there. Never, ever give up on a play. 
He's right there. Tips right to him. So you're going to see better from this view. So you got this AB mug right here. Roquan Smith. Okay. <clears throat> Patrick Queen. They're going to bluff out. They're only bringing nickel pressure. Everyone's going to be going over a gap. So 65 is correct in coming off once they... And then, yeah, that's definitely a high-low right there. I would have loved for CMC to just stay up right there. But you go low, I go high. Not a good look. Okay, Purdy's working the... Uh, I thought Purdy, he missed this read. I thought he should have just thrown the little out route. Look, he, he messes around, goes through it. There's another flag right there. Pretty good job by Purdy getting out of this and then just can't do that man especially after you've thrown two interceptions so that was interception number three all right first and nine only 13 five we're good okay second quarter 329 left three by one to two by two formation love how much they use motion and shift this game and the reason i put this play on is one it was an amazing run by cmc cmc scores another <laughs> Touchdown. I also wanted to, I know he got cut today, but 83, Willie sees my guy. Watch that block right there. All right. Pretty good block. And there was a guy who bet $5 on a 14 pick parlay. He won $489,000 because CMC scored this touchdown right here for DraftKings. And it was close. It was really close. But Merry Christmas to that guy. Because it's on Christmas night. Look at his blocking. He gets in right there, $500,000 richer. Mm -mm -mm. All right, 16-12, third quarter. This is when it started going downhill because it's a pretty close game, in my opinion. Slot pressure right here. Willie Sneed just batted the ball. Okay. Not, not good right here. Okay, I don't know why. It's an odd front. Well, if I can get over to it. It's an odd front right here. So, in my opinion, on odd front means the, the center's uh, taken care of. It should be there, there. This right guard and right tackle should be out. They're bringing Patrick Queen off the edge. He's hot. Okay, his first read should be this slant. Willie Sneed just has like a shallow eliminate. He's not in the read. So, I want you to watch Debo. If he just works Debo right here, it's a completion. Because that is a... Dang good route. And honestly, this catch and run might be a touchdown because we've seen it before. So I don't know where his eyes are. I know he's feeling hot right here. And this hot could be this choice route, but six runs into him. Okay, so I, I'm telling you, this is just like a do something route. You never really read it. Throw the slant to this delay right here. He should have hit Debo right here for an easy play. He's lucky he didn't get number five right here. My opinion, look, they should sort it. So that means 55 and 68 should be out to either 26 or 6. Who's blitzing? Doesn't happen. Purdy hits a glitch right here. Decides to try and work Willie Sneed right here. Okay, he sees him pressuring. That's not open. Debo is coming wide open. Just trust it. Rip it. Okay, he's lucky he didn't get number 5. All right, next play, 23 to 12. Three by one to two by two, constant motion. He stopped doing the empty uh, in the second half a little bit more, but here it is again. And here's number four. Oh, man, it's a tough day at the office. This is in no way his fault whatsoever. Okay, so they're running some version of this, like, all go with an option route underneath. So he's reading juice to Kittle to this option route. So he gets to number three. Ayuk just has this little sit route right here. Really, you're reading like alert this. You're reading one to two. Thought he got to CMC just a hair too soon. He's reading the wrong side, in my opinion, as well. Because um, he starts over here to Ayuk. And goes right to our guy, Patrick Queen. Oh, man, this is rough. Tough day at the office. Comes back. Right tackle gets beat. Okay, and you're going to watch his elbow gets hurt. His, el his elbow gets hit. Not much you can do about it right there. 68. Look, rough, rough, 
uh, day at the office for that guy as well. And just getting bull rush right here. Purdy's throwing. It's not an interception if his hand doesn't get hit. Okay, so three of the four interceptions, something got hit. I don't know if I've ever broken down a four interception game. 30 to 12 right here. Juice coming over in motion. They're still rolling. Still rolling. Okay, single high zone coverage. And this is what Brock's so good at, these layered throws. They ran this play like back-to-back. -back. Big time, block them up, shot. Okay, post route, hitting this dagger. Over Roquan Smith right there. I love what Kittle's doing right here, getting in, pulling up this underneath coverage. This is the Brock Purdy we all know and love. So this is what they sort of got to in the second half when things were a little bit out of hand, more block them up shots downfield rather than staying in empty. Shanahan decided, hey, you know what? I should probably finally help my offensive line. No Trent Williams. Okay, look at this protection. This protection is what they've been running all year long. It's helped them when Brock has time. Okay, you're going to pull the guy to Kittle and you're going to fire a shot. His layered throws, which is what he's so good at, over top of his head to Debo. Really good catching right there. Okay, 33 to 12. Under center, three by one formation. Using this jet sweep motion. Block him up, shot, play. Again, okay. Love that he's finally getting back to what they did so well. And instead of a post this time, you're going to have this deep corner and this deep 16 to 18 yard dagger route. You're reading one to two. This throw was even better than the last. Big time play action, helping her guys out. Look at the pocket that Purdy's in, able to step up. Over top this defender right there. Hell of a throw and catch. This is going to be a much better view. But I want you to watch this pocket. This is what this is what they got to, and it really, really helped them out down the stretch. Look at this. Yeah, a lot of guys can throw in that. But, you know, 5, 10, 15, you're throwing an 18-year route. You got to get it over. Roquan Smith right there. Oh, barely does. A little bit behind him, but nice throw and nice catch. And fourth and 11. Last play that I'm breaking down because after this, Purdy got a stinger. Okay, and he misses Ayuk. Pretty good route right here. One on one by Brandon Ayuk. Okay, watch him. He's open. At this point, pretty spooked right there. He's trying to launch this this post route, okay? But Ayuk is the gun that's open. Like, launch that to him because that is the guy who's open. Oh, man. Don't know why he didn't throw it. I thought this was pretty cool, though. Watch this. Dude. Fourth and 11, though. You got to let it rip. You can't do that. Watch Ayuk. Another really good route. He's very open. Just throw it to him. You've made harder throws in your day. You know the sort of the game's over right here. This, this cool little flip was sweet. But, look, at the end of the day, everyone has games like this. It's not over. Their season's not over. They just got to get that offensive line healthy. If you do, come back, put 35 on the next opponent, feel good about yourself.